Hi, my name's Aiden here to do a behind the bumper on your St. Louis Regional Winners 1706 Ratchet Rockers and their bot Singularity with their multi-sided funnel and their ability to score both game pieces in rapid succession. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual price when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. We're gonna take it away to Andrew. So starting at the back of our robot, we have a three-sided funnel, which allows us to get into the feeder stations on any of our three sides on his around defense. We added dampening material so we can throw the coral in pretty rough. And it'll catch the coral. Right through. The dampening material allows the coral to settle very easily. Uh, on the back of our funnel, we have our climber, which acts as the back wall, pulling the, pulling the cage into the funnel at, at end game. So after our last event, we added an algae intake. Uh, this is designed to be lightweight and just go out and in very quickly. The way we can quickly uh, shoot it out, get an algae, and continue on with our match. It's got a Neo 550 out at the end of this curved rack here, and then a polycarbonate roller with cat's tongue tape on it to help grip the algae and center it. And our elevator is a very similar design to our 2024 robot Riot that also had it behind the bumpers. Uh, it's a continuous style cascading elevator, but we changed it a little bit by adding a wider uh, belt and then also changing up the gearbox where it's one solid gearbox at the bottom with both sides linked that way We don't have any issues with uh, Inconsistencies in like how high it goes Go ahead and go up into You go all the way So we'll go all the way up to L4 at a good speed That's good. Um, but Some issues we had with this elevator was our wire chain uh, continually just kind of broke or shot outside the robot or flipped around into our funnel. Um, but we managed to fix that with a, uh, go ahead and go up. We managed to fix that issue with a constant force spring on a roller here at the bottom that pulls the chain down into the robot. And then our manipulator that holds the coil, you go to L3. Our manipulator can hold the coil and the algae at the same time as well as score both or de-score an algae and then score uh, a coral into any of the levels. Our manipulator here, we designed to have all three of the motors down inside of the carriage instead of out on the manipulator to save weight so we can sling it around much faster than we otherwise would be able to. That, we designed the carriage that way it can flip over the top to score in the barge without having to spin all the way around saving time. All right, that was Gus talking about the manipulator and the elevator. We're gonna take it over to Izzy to talk about some of the autonomous and the driving capabilities. So the first part I wanna talk about is our safe move. So basically in our code, we have a like set of scenarios that say the elevator can't move if like the arm's at this angle and it will like run through all the scenarios. And if it finds that it's at one of those scenarios, it will go through like the system to like move the elevator up so the arm can go to a certain angle and stuff. Um, next is the auto line. So basically for our operator, we have a whole bunch of buttons over here and he'll choose like whether he wants to be on the left or the right side. So he'll go like L4 right and then he'll choose the coral that they're at, which could be coral C and that will let them auto align so that they can like shoot easier. It allows our driver to make more precise shots and shoot from farther back. And then for our autos, it's just a four piece auto that scores three L4s and then at the end it scores on L2. All right, one last thing, let's talk about end game. We've iterated on our climber since our last event. It now only grabs one bar of the cage, that way it's easier for the driver to align. At this event, we added a polycarbonate deflector plate to help center the, center the cage as it comes in and then these wheels will flip to the bottom to bring the cage in. You go ahead and put, you go ahead and put the climber down. 
Cool. So the driver would drive into the cage, latching it with a uh, latching mechanism. Hold it. And that brings the cage into the funnel where we don't have to move it out of the way. All right. One last thing, we're going to take it over to Andrew to talk a little bit more about the frame and how they did some wire management and a couple other cool things they did for deflecting coral. Yeah. So underneath our robot, we made a custom frame piece. Instead of using the normal uh, two by one across, we made truss pieces that cut off the corners of our swerve and then a connecting truss piece to connect the two corners giving us plenty of room for undermounted electronics, which we've seen on other robots in the past, and we decided we really liked, and we really want to try this year. Um, all this extra space down here, we use uh, custom 3D printed grommets to protect the um, wires from the metal on the sharp edges, any impacts. Uh, all the extra room down here gives us plenty of room for wire management, making a very clean look, and making it very easy to protect from any impacts from coral, other robots, and uh, these polycarb plates we added later on after we ran up onto an algae and realized we should probably have something to protect our out al from algae if we run up onto it and other robots getting underneath us if we have to get pushed off of an algae. This has been Behind the Bumpers on 1706 Ratchet Rockers. Have a great time at the IO Regional. I wish you guys luck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual price when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free, scan the QR code, or go to altair.com slash contest for further details.